Hey guys, so for this room, I was really struggling for abusing Windows internals. This room should have been named Abusing My Brain, because that's exactly what this room did. So I'm going to just um, kind of walk you through what I did to get through it and, um, you know, just provide any assistance I can, as I usually do in my videos. So first off, you're going to want to use uh, Ramina to uh, RDP into these machines. I think it just expired my machine. No worries. So you RDP into the machine. You open up PowerShell. You navigate to the location of your um, current user, which if I do PWD, I think it works here. Yeah, PWD, I'm the them attacker. Then you go to this location here, and throughout the task, you'll be actually running, and I'll copy this. You'll be running the executables that are located here. When you get to DLL one, you also have to uh, run one of those. So I have my trusty little notepad open here. Where I've been putting all my little notes and I am just going to paste that in and put it there. So this is where, and you're going to want to open the task manager as well. You're going to want to navigate to this location here. If you're following along and you want to look at the code and observe it, as you're reading through it, you can click here on the source and they've got the files here. You can just open it with a notepad and you can check out the source if you like. For the most part throughout the task, they just really didn't have you check out the source. They didn't ask you to do that. Most of the time it was just kind of like, hey, just run, run the file and then you'll get a prompt and that will have a flag. Um, Looks like my machine expired because I, I that's how just how long I spent on this room. So again, I'm gonna provide a link so you can install uh, Remina so that you can actually RDP into this and get the, get the task done. Um, it's pretty much gonna be everything on this note. And after that, I'm just gonna um, kind of walk you through this a little bit. So abusing the process. So this first one kind of made sense to me, right? Essentially, you have your malicious process. And what you do is you open up a process, a legitimate process, right? And that process has DLLs and registers and process heaps and, and everything like that. Now, when you open up your malicious process and you open up the legitimate process, you then go and you have the virtual allocate and the right process memory. So at this point, you're actually um, allocating a piece of memory and you're writing into that memory and uh, creating the malicious memory region. Um, then you're gonna execute that by creating a thread. Now, I probably can't explain it as well as the person I was watching on YouTube. Um, and let me pull up that video actually. Because I was watching him explain it. And let me pull that up. So I was watching this fella, Jigen. Um, he had about three videos. Each one was about 30 to 40 minutes in which he's explaining it. And I can just kind of roll back over to the first video. Uh, yeah, this was the first one. And then he kind of reads over it and gives it a little explanation that kind of helped me understand it. And all the way up to about the first task, I was like, I might understand this. And then after I got to the second task, totally went over my head. Actually, after the third task, totally over my head, I seen this just monstrous diagram here. Um, and I felt overwhelmed. I know for the prereq, they mentioned that, oh, hey, yeah, just uh, know some C++ and PowerShell. Now, PowerShell is not that hard to learn. But C++, I mean, 
that's not something I can just learn tomorrow. You know, that's going to take a few months. It took me a few months to learn Python and which I made some videos on how to code in Python. I made about like 11 or 12 of them. Took a while. Uh, C Sharp took me almost a year to actually like feel pretty confident where I could build out my own little apps. C++, this isn't something I could learn tomorrow. And um, it would take a while. So who knows? Maybe in the future, I'll learn it. And then I'll come back and make this video. And it'll be so much better. Uh, I don't see that happening, though, because I personally, um, that's going to take a while. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me go back. Let me just minimize my, my little screen here. So let me do this for you guys, OK? So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm just going to provide the flags. <laughs> and you guys could watch his video and try to follow along and try to understand what he's saying. And if you can understand it, awesome. Great. Really good stuff. If you can't, um, I just gave you the flag. So you can move on to the next one. I feel like but try hack me. There's some of the stuff you're not going to learn. You're not going to use in the real world. Let's, let's let's first off mention that. Uh, some of the stuff you're never going to have to use for your job. Some of the stuff will completely go over your head, and that's okay. It's 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 being um, exposed to it. It's, it's being able to to know that it's out there. To know that there's uh, Windows APIs that you can call that will create. You know, malicious processes in memory and execute those threads. Like, that's really cool. That's the type of stuff I like to learn. And um, I really, I really kind of enjoyed this room. Um, but it, like I mentioned, just kind of went over my head. And that's okay because with a lot of things in IT, um, they go over my head. Like, I remember when I first learned subnetting, completely didn't understand any of it. Um, after, a few years and then eventually I became a network administrator. I knew subnetting like the back of my hand, right? And I was able to get my CCNA and everything. So it, it took time, it took dedication, it took exposure to this stuff. And, you know, this kind of just initiates it and uh, plants that seed pretty much. So I'm almost finished uh, copying this over. Sorry, I can't provide you any advice on this room. I know I did that first room, and you see me struggling in that first room. And then I got to this room, and I was like, oh, this is beyond my league. Um, you know. And uh, I don't know if you guys are struggling. You could mention that in the comment section. It could be like, uh, you know, that can be a place for us to decompress a little bit. <laughs> and... If you're totally able to understand it, that's awesome. I'm going to provide you a link to this dude who made a video. It was pretty good. Um, you know. Uh, let's see here. This is his first one. This is part one of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. All right. Let me go ahead and just throw that link in the bottom. You can watch it, you know. Um, I watched part one and two. And then I just kind of was like, all right, well, uh, I don't know if I'm going to understand this stuff. This is beyond me. So no problem. You know, on to the next one, on to the next one. I hardly do this. I, I really never do this unless I come to a point where I'm like, yeah, this ain't happening. <laughs> this ain't happening. I'm not going to spend 10 days on one room. That's ridiculous. So let's see this introduction to antivirus. Hopefully I don't have to do any like uh, deal with any of these heaps or any of that stuff. Um, let's see here. Are we going to have to do any of that stuff? Please tell me we're not. Backdoor. No, this one seems a little bit more digestible. A little bit more digestible. Okay, we got some ASCII. No, that's not too bad. Other detections. Okay, we have, uh, what's this, Visual Studios? Okay, uh, this one looks interesting. Got some more, you know, we got some C-sharp code here. That looks very familiar. 
Um, looks like we're building, compiling something here. I look forward to this one. I really do. So anyhow, uh, please like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, yeah, please like and subscribe. I, I didn't do anything. I just provided you the flags, but you know. No, um, you know, I'm going to create the next one and, and hopefully the next one's better than this one. I really hope you know, down the year, down, down the line, I don't know, maybe a year from now, I totally learn C sharp or, you know, I know, I know, I know C sharp, but I totally learn like C plus plus and I can come back to this room and understand everything that you're saying. Um, who knows that might happen, right? Three years ago, I, I didn't know subnetting or like however many years ago, I didn't know subnetting. Like now I know it like the back of my hand. Um, Although it's probably a little rusty, now. but uh, you, you know what I'm saying. Anyhow, have a good one. Hope you have a good one. All right, Danny out.